Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Thursday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. Sorry, I hear something. I think somebody might be in the garage that totally startled me. Good evening. So sorry, I got a little distracted. My name is Sarah Edwards, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. I am just going to chit-chat for a second and make sure it's showing up on our news feed, and there it is on my iPad. So good evening. Hopefully you guys had a great day. It is going to be another wet day tomorrow. It's crazy how much rain we've gotten. I love it. I love the smell of the clean air, and I can't wait for it to start raining tonight. I will probably be sleeping with our bedroom door open, so it'll probably wake us up, which is totally fine. I seriously don't mind that. Hello, everybody. Hello, Jane, Anna, Valerie. If you're just logging on, say hi so I know you're here. So the new catalog starts um, the 4th. I don't really know exactly what day. Oh, I still have November calendar up. One day next week. Um, so Saturday 1st, Tuesday maybe. I saw the new catalog starts on Tuesday the 4th. And I want to show you another fun project. So I did... Um, four projects. I, I've completed one and I did the one in misty moonlight. So I did, I'm doing the other three in different colors to kind of just give you a little variety. There's my daughter. I am going to delete her. Does she not know that I'm on my Facebook live? Silly goose. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm just going to show you the same step, stamp set, the same techniques, same designer series paper, just using different colors um, to kind of widen your variety. So I'm going to flip you over and we are going to get started. Hopefully my daughter doesn't call me back, but I will call her after the live. So this is a new set. It's called Blessing of Home. And I usually don't venture to um, flowers that we have to color because I am a tedious person, but only when I have time to be a tedious person to sit and color. But we do actually use this set um, in on stage, and it was really fun how they um, it did the sponge daubers to color these flowers because it's a bigger image. But we are going to use this one, this flower right here. And I thought the sentiment was perfect. Obviously, it says perfect in it. Have a perfect birthday. I have a um, sign in my craft room that says perfection is what you make it, even though it's not perfection. It's kind of the same thing. Have a perfect birthday. I love that. So I'm going to show you a fun way to use this sentiment, not as a normal way to use it. So let me bring in the designer series paper we're going to be using. Oh, it also has the dies that match it. I haven't opened them yet. I actually haven't used the dies, hence why I haven't opened them. So let me open it really quick just to show you what they look like. So you have the flower that we're using right here. Um, you can cut that one out and then the great big one as well and lots of little vines and extra leaves and flowers. So it's super fun. And this is the designer series paper we're gonna be using. It is called Heart and Home. And I loved the bumblebees. In my younger years, I'm not that old, but in my younger years, my kitchen was all yellow and in bumblebees. And too bad I didn't have this set back then. Um, but one side is the wood grain and the other side is our printed designer series paper. So we are actually using these two pieces right here for the cards we're going to be making tonight. So let's let me get that off to the side and I will bring in the card we're going to be making. So this is the one that I did in the misty moonlight. Um, I did bring in some other color combinations and I'm just going to bring in my little tub here. Um, so this was the Misty Moonlight that I colored the blends in um, or that I colored the flowers in and I did one in a polished pink. This is uh, Daffodil Delight and Highlands Heather maybe? Oh Fresh Freesia. So close. So those are the other colors that I did some of the flowers in. I already colored um, three of them so we're only going to be coloring one together but we're gonna put them all together, together, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is what you're going to need. So I have a piece of basic white, and this measures two and a quarter by three and a half. 
this piece, and I just wrote colored cardstock on the um, in the instructions. You can pick whatever color you want. This is Poppy Parade, and this one measures two and three fourths by three and three fourths, and it is definitely bigger than our normal wiring because I'm going to show you how to put the sentiment on the side. And then our designer series paper, this is three and three fourths by five and a piece of layering cardstock. This is four by five and a quarter. And then we have our card base and this is our thick basic white and it measures eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it right in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold that, give that a good crease. I think um, Peyton just sent me a text message so hopefully she knows I'm not totally ignoring her. Okay, so let's start with gluing down some of our pieces and then I will bring in the Stamparatus. So I did put my um, stamp on the Stamparatus because I was making more than one and I wanted to make sure I got it in the exact spot I wanted. So let me bring in the Stamparatus. And plus it's the red rubber, so you can't see through it to make sure it's perfectly even. So what I did is I put my piece of um, cardstock, and this one is two and three fourths by three and three fourths. I laid it in the Stamparatus, and then I laid my stamp right on top of the edge, and then um, that's how I attached it. So now, every single time I do this, it will be in the same exact spot. So I'm just gonna rub my embossing buddy over that just so there's no um, oils and stuff on the paper. So when I put the heat embossing, it won't stick. So I just, oh man, look what I did. I didn't make sure that was, well, why there's always two sides to a piece of cardstock, right? I didn't make sure it was butted up. So let's re-ink that. So you always want to make sure it's tucked up into the corner before you lay this down. So I'm just going to give it a good rub. I don't want to press too hard and you're not going to be able to see it because the ink is clear. You might be able to get like a little halo of it, but the ink is clear until I put the white embossing powder on it and then it will show up. So I'm going to bring in my white embossing, grab my little spoon. There we go. Perfect. Have a perfect birthday. When you're using the embossing, um, the embossing powder, make sure you put the lid on, close it, and put it to the side before you turn your heat gun on. Otherwise, you're going to have a hot mess. Okay, so this is going to be loud, and I apologize, but hopefully you'll be able to see it heat, and it will melt the powder. So it takes a quick second just for the embossing machine to heat up, and then you'll start to be able to see that it's melting. And then, oh, can you see that? And then you're just gonna run this across and it will melt all of it. There we go. It's perfectly melted. Isn't that cute? And now your card is going to um, sit vertically so your sentiment is on the edge. So let's bring in our piece of um, the basic white and our Mementos ink pad. And when I have a larger stamp, I like to hold it in one hand and ink it upside down just to make sure I'm getting even coverage on the whole thing. And this piece is pretty snug. I wanted it snug. So we're just gonna lay that down. Give it a good press. There we go. Perfection. I actually think that's all the stamping we're going to be doing. So now I'm just going to bring in some of our blender pens. And the rest of them I already did, but I just wanted to color one of them with you. So I'm using cinnamon cider, and I'm just going to go down the stem. And then just fill in the whole stem. It doesn't actually take that long, and I I know I say this all the time, I should color more often than what I do 
because it is very therapeutic. So this one is the light old olive. So I'm going to color in the leaves. And I really don't know which color is my favorite. I did one in the Daffodil Delight, the Polished Pink, the um, Misty Moonlight, and one other color. I just can't remember. And if I look to my left, I might color the wrong thing. So I can't look. And it's hard to talk and color at the same time. But I'm trying. So while I'm doing this, does anybody have any hot, amazing, fun plans for the new year? We do, and I'm so excited to tell everybody. We picked out the pajamas we're going to be wearing all day and all night. Super exciting in our house. Hopefully the fireworks aren't too bad and the dogs aren't going to go super crazy. That's the worst thing about it is our puppies do not like the fireworks. One of us is usually on the couch and it's usually Bo. Okay, so there is, oh, I forgot three. So here's the old olive. This is the light old olive. And then I'm gonna come in with the dark old olive and just do a little bit of shading I'm not going to color the whole thing, but I'm just going to go up the little vines on each of these. This doesn't take any time at all. And then the last we have to do is coloring the flowers. And that's actually pretty quick because they're larger flowers. So I'm going to use um, the light. Oh, if I can get it open, I'm going to use the light poppy parade and then I'm going to come in and use the darker poppy parade. And I would recommend having your grid sheet under this because the blender pens do bleed and sometimes they will bleed through your cardstock. That's why I remember on Tuesday's live when we were coloring the envelopes that I put a piece of cardstock on the inside. Um, that is so it doesn't bleed through on your work surface. My work surface, um, I can just take a baby wipe to it, to this one. So this one doesn't bother me not to have it underneath. And I'm not being, I'm not making sure I'm going to the complete edge of it. I don't think you need to on this stamp. Okay. So there's that, and now I'm gonna come in with the dark, and I'm gonna do the center. And then I'm gonna come over and do the little tiny flowers off to the edge. So these ones I'm gonna do in the darker. Sorry, I think I see a comment coming up, but I can't look. Give me a second. Okay, almost done coloring. Okay, there we go. Perfect, so that is our flower. And I'm just going, oops, I'm just gonna go ahead and attach this. And I want to attach it where you can see the have a perfect birthday off to the edge. Isn't that super cute? Um, it's actually, I didn't create this. Um, there was a picture similar to this in the new catalog and I loved it. So I was like, I am going to remake that. And look at the poppy parade with the misty moonlight. Oh, the colors literally just pop. And they actually pop on all of the colors that I picked. So I'm just using the edges. I do have some full packs, but I need to get rid of these guys. So I'm just going to put some dimensionals on the back. And when it's a larger surface, I like to put one in the center just so it doesn't sag. We don't like anything that sags. So I'm just going to set this off to the right because I wanted to bring in some of the new denim ribbon that we have. And I want to attach this to the edge. Okay, so I'm just going to 
put a mini glue dot on the edge. I'm going to wrap this around. Give it a bit of a haircut at the end. Put another mini glue dot. Uh, there we go. It's sticking to everything else but the ribbon. Okay, there we go. Now I want to cut a smidgen off. I don't know, that's three, four inches, not quite sure. Didn't measure. And I'm going to come in and I'm just gonna tie a knot at the edge. And when you pull it long ways, it's going to not be right over into your sentiments. So I just want a little bit of a bow on the edge without having to make a bow. Sorry, I'm gonna have to flip this upside down so I can cut it. There we go. Look how cute that is. I loved all of these colors with the denim, especially the Daffodil Delight. I love yellow and denim together. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive on the back and I like to go over the ribbon just to give it a little extra oomph of adhesive. There we go. And it is a little bit thicker, so you do wanna let it dry for a quick second. But look how cute those are. So this is Poppy Parade and this one is Misty Moonlight and we still have some time. The other ones are already stamped and um, colored and everything. We're just gonna put them together. So this one is the light and dark. Um, hold on, I don't know why I'm losing my mind. Fresh Freesia, so this is the light and the dark Fresh Freesia and the designer series paper is from the same exact pack that I got the Misty Moonlight from. So we're just going to put some adhesive. There we go. And I probably should have left the Fresh Fraser ribbon over here from Tuesday's Live because that actually might have been pretty too, but I think I might just use the denim. Why not? Live on the edge. Okay. So let's flip this over, put some dimensionals on the back. Oh, I can't wait to do the Daffodil Delight one. You guys are gonna have to tell me which one is your favorite. But don't say Pacific Point because Anna got put in Facebook jail for saying that, but good thing we're not using that color today. Peel the backing off. Flip that up. And I actually think the paper is directional specific. So I'm gonna put this off to the right, grab my ribbon. I guess I probably should have cut some of this ahead of time. So whatever color is your favorite or the recipient's favorite, you could totally make these cards especially for that person and have a perfect birthday. There we go. And I, if we have time, I'll go in and tie the little knot on the edges. I just wanna make sure we get all of these beautiful cards put together. And you guys can pick which one you like best. So this one's Fresh Freesia. I'm gonna set that to the side and I'm gonna bring in the Daffodil Delight. Oh, this next one might be my favorite too. I don't know. Okay, set that down. So Vicki, you like the um, Fresh Freesia? It is beautiful. I really wish Facebook Lives and cameras would really do these justice. They are absolutely gorgeous all put together. And I usually cut these, but I didn't on this one. Ripping them apart works just fine too. See, Vicki right? I know, I love yellow and denim together. It's so classy. 
Perfect. Put some ribbon on the edge. Trim this off. Wait till we do this last color. Can anybody guess what color we're going to do? Even though I probably said it in the beginning. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't do magenta madness because that's probably one of my favorite colors. It's so bright and vivid, but this one, we're going to do the polished pink. Just getting a little extra glue on the ribbon. Yes, absolutely. This one, oh, I don't know. As much as I love the Daffodil Delights. Oh, you like the yellow too, Anna? Okay, let's do the polished pink. And polished pink and denim, oh, I don't know. They literally knock it out of the ballpark when they have their colors. I would love to be, I'm not cool enough though. I would love to be on the design team or the design something. I don't care what it is, just something with design. Okay, there's that. Let's flip this over. I'll bring them all back in once we get them all put together. Ugh, almost used up all the edges. Little bit left. Okay. There we go. And it's so unique doing the sentiment on the edge like that. And I actually might leave this on um, the Stamparatus. So if you guys want to make some during the retreats, we won't have to redo it. I actually might make some of these for the retreat as well. But speaking of retreat, um, I finished the nameplates today. Almost all of the pillow gifts are done. Make and takes are all done. Um, yeah, it's like we're getting so close to the retreat. It's crazy. And you guys are going to love it. We haven't figured out the menu yet, so I don't know what Bo's cooking. That will probably be the day before. We're not very good about communicating on that until it's the very last second. Oh, there's that mini glue dot. <laughs> That's funny. I'm like, I knew it attached, but it stuck to my finger. Okay, so let me, we have a couple seconds. I'm going to cut a couple of these strips, and we're going to tie them in, and then you guys can pick which one is your favorite. Let me get all this out of the way. So this one is the polished pink. So there's polished pink. Here is the Daffodil Delights. Let me get my hands out of the way. There is the Daffodil Delights. Oh, I guess, oh, there it is. I knew I had one more. And this is the Fresh Freesia. Didn't it totally make this stamp set totally yummy, adding all of these extra colors to it? Okay, so we have Polished Pink, Fresh Freesia, um, Daffodil Delights, Poppy Parade, and Misty Moonlights. I don't know which one's my favorites, but I love them all, and I hope you guys did too. They were super fun and super easy to make. Um, it did take me a little bit longer because we did color a little bit, but it was still super easy, fun, and totally relaxing, and that's what I think we all need right now is just to sit back, relax, and color a little bit. Okay. So that is your live for tonight. I will be back on Tuesday at 7 for another live. Card class is on Saturday. I have a few spots left, so if anybody wants to come to card class, just send me a message, and I will put you on the list. Okay, have a good night. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.